Hello guys, welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Shivam Vijay and today in this video I am going to giving a demonstration on XY position control system using PLC. In this video or demonstration we will be seeing that how a XY control system draw some basic objects on a XY plane or we can say a 2D plane on a paper. Now I will explain you all the basic parts of this complete system and then we will do the demonstration for working of this system by creating or drawing some basic images provided with this complete trainer. So this is the basic control panel of this XY position control system PLC based. The order code is 52315. You can use this order code to find out more details about this trainer by visiting our website which is www.tescaglobal.com. In this trainer, we can see we have used an HMI over here, HMI human machine interface which control the PLC which is uh, internally connected and this is the on off switch for on and off the HMI and the complete system. The indicator shows the complete control system is connected with the power when the power is off the indicator goes down. There is a toggle switch provided for uh, using the complete hardware whether you can use it from HMI or you can use it directly PC using ladder diagrams. Software of the ladder diagram and ladder diagrams are also provided with this complete trainer. Now other one is the complete hardware design for controlling the motors. There are two servo motors with the servo amplifiers connected in the control panel are provided. This is the servo motor which controls the horizontal axis and this is the servo motor which controls the vertical axis. We have also used a complete measurement diagram or the measurement scale over here which defines the drawing area which is provided with this approximately 200 into 200 mm. You can see a pencil holder also provided so that you can easily move the pencil and with the motors and you can use any of your choice for drawing you can use it whether there is a marker or any other substance for drawing the object as per your requirement. There is a holder provided and this is a spring movement so that you can easily change and the load on the pencil knob will not be higher so that the pencil knob will not be broken. On the left side of the panel we can see there are three connectors. First is main cable connector, the main cable for providing the power supply. The complete trainer works on 230 volt single phase AC supply. This is the X axis connector. The X axis motor can be connected using this 4 pin connector provided. Similarly, the Y axis connector also connected with this trainer. The third one is PC cable provided. While working with the PC and software, we can use this connector which is internally connected with the PLC system. Now before turning on the system, we will connect X and Y, make sure to cross check the cables whether you are going to connect it X to X position and Y to Y connector. Like this. Now, after doing all the connection properly, make sure and cross check all the connection again, once again and then we can turn on the HMI just using this selector switch at the on position and in some time we can see the HMI will start and comes to home position. Here you can see the HMI now have been start and the home position or the home screen of the HMI is displayed. Now for working on the HMI mode we must toggle this toggle switch to HMI selection. So first we are doing the HMI mode. Here you can see there are 9 different options provided on the HMI screen. Over here you can see the first one is horizontal line, then vertical line, inclined, triangle, rectangle, square, hexagon, pentagon and manual mode. So in manual mode we can see there are 4 possible options. This will be working in inching mode, x axis positive direction, x axis negative direction, y axis positive, y axis negative. 
whether i will press any of one the hardware will move in the respective direction now moving to drawing the first object we will first select the horizontal line here you can enter the length of the horizontal line in mm so we can change the length by pressing the length button and here you can enter the desired length whatever you want so i am entering the 50 mm length manually press enter and when i press start the hardware will move in horizontal direction and the horizontal line will be drawn so now as i press start you can see the horizontal axis motor starts more rotating and the horizontal line of 50 mm is drawn now we'll again press start so once again we can see the again 50 mm horizontal line will be drawn here you can observe only the horizontal axis motor is only the one which is rotating the vertical axis motor is now not rotating now coming back we have to press home button and here we can select the other option which is vertical line so when i press the vertical line button here you can see the vertical line is selected you can change the length so i am changing the length to 40 mm and press enter and when we press start a vertical line will be drawn in this case the other motor will be start rotating in the 50 mm direction so here when i press start we can see the vertical movement only the vertical axis motor is running and we have got the vertical line of 50 mm now always make sure when you start the other figure drawing the any of the motor will not be at the end position here you can see the x axis motor right now almost reached to the x position just a little span is also remaining so when we draw the line more than this remaining axis the motor will be not drawn the complete movement and we will give a and we will get a wrong figure that we have entered so in this type of case we can change the center for starting the drawing using the manual mode setting you just need to press the any of direction where you want to start or where you reach where you want to reach from this and if you want to move the pencil or the start point you just need to turn this up like this because the spring load is provided so that you can easily turn this up so that when you move the servo motors to a possible direction like this the paper will not be drawn and no no line will be drawn and you will reach the other center from where you want to start again like this so always make sure to draw the draw image in the applicable drawing area that is provided so here we have reached our new center and when i release the any of axis button from the manual control here both the motors will be stopped and we can start drawing from this new center now moving to the third one which is inclined line in the inclined line both the motors will be rotated because 
the inclination will be going to x and y axis both for this we can enter any of reading from this selection we can enter 30 mm and when i press start both the motors will run and we will get a inclined line so now i'm going to press the start here and you can see both the motors are running and we are getting an inclined line so i'm again extending the line same 30 mm line will also extended again so you can observe both the motors are rotating in this case now moving to next object we have a triangle the program is already defined to draw a single equilateral triangle for this we have to provide the single length of all the as all the three lengths or three sides of this triangle will be the same length so we can enter a 50 mm triangle length and when we press start the complete system will automatically draw a triangle on the paper so now as i press start you can observe both the motors are rotating right now the single motor is rotating when the inclined lines are going to be drawn both the motors will be start rotating and we will get the triangle which is an equilateral triangle of 50 mm length here both motors are rotating and we have got the equilateral triangle on the surface that was the demonstration of a triangle now again back to home page and we going to select rectangle here as we know the rectangle has two different lengths two different sides length and breadth so here you can enter two different options so i am entering 60 mm is the length and length 2 as 30 mm so here when i press start a 60 mm width or 30 mm length or we can say length 1 and length 2 rectangle will be drawn so as i press start here you can see from the same center x axis is going to draw a 60 mm length here you can see now it will going to y axis and when the second side is completed it will start again to x axis and when the x axis directions completed the length completed again going to y axis direction and here we have got the complete rectangle of 60 mm in length and 30 mm in width now moving to our next object which is an square the square have all the sides same so we can just enter a single length and we can get a square on the surface we can draw a square let us say of 25 mm a small square we are going to draw and when i press start it will draw a square on surface now as i press start it's again start in x axis going to 25 mm then y axis 25 mm and again come back to 25 mm for completing the square so here a square of 25 mm side is now completed now moving to next object we have a hexagon here length we can enter let us say 35 mm and all the sides of the hexagon will be same we can enter 35 mm length hexagon and we are going to start drawing on the 
सरफेस यूजिंग एक्स वाई पोजिशन कंट्रोल सिस्टम ना एम गोइंग टू प्रेस द स्टार्ट एंड स्ट्रिट स्टार्ट ड्रॉइंग द एक्सगोन of 35 mm length in hexagon there is inclined lines are also where both the motors work together so this is the hexagon that is completed with all its six sides coming back to the last shape that we can make from this complete system which is pentagon pentagon of uh, let us say 50 mm length and when we press start pentagon will be automatically drawn on the surface now as i press start it will starts drawing the pentagon of 50 mm length all the sides of this pentagon will be 50 mm so here the pentagon object or pentagon shape is completed using this xy position control so this was the complete demonstration of this xy position control using hmi now for the other mode using the pc we can do with this uh, programming and drawing the shape using the ladder log ladder diagram which is provided with this complete system in just case the working with the ladder diagram we just have to put this toggle switch to pc button and we have to connect this connector to any laptop or computer provided with this now we are going to understand the lo ladder logic and how we can enter the values from ladder logic and draw the images now for working with the pc mode we will provide a folder like this with the order code 52315 as mentioned in this folder we can see the xy stage software is provided which contains all the software related detail with this complete setup in which we have to firstly install the cell pro 5.4 setup version and and you install this you will find a desktop icon like this cell pro over here now going backwards here you can see this is a 2 axis stepper motor program these are the backups of the program file provided so when you install the cell pro after installing it we will just run it in simple manner it will take a few minutes and after that your program will be start on this window here you can see the program window is now open you just press open over here and in the same folder let me show you once this is the folder 52315 which is provided with the complete setup in this xy stage forward folder from where we have installed the cell pro software and this is the 2 axis stepper plc program and here you will find the stepper trial you have to just open this file after selecting it and in a few seconds this program will be continuous continually opened and you will find the complete ladder logic of this setup so here the ladder logic is now open here all the calculations 
and ladder logics programs are provided first of all you have to be very careful and every time when you open the ladder logic there should be some expert of ladder programming present so that you can understand the ladder programming with him also and do not alter any of the program and any of the object in this program if you alter it and you go down and download this may the fold, uh, item will not be work proper condition this is a complete warning with this complete setup also mentioned this in manual so now before moving forward we have to connect this usb connector provided with this trainer to the usb slot in the laptop and you will see light will starts blinking when the complete setup of and drivers are installed properly with the pc now what we have to do is going to communication and here we will compile and download the complete program or ladder logic in the plc here you can see the compiling is started in the lower bar 40% 50% and sometime the compli compilation will be completed and the downloading folder will open here you can see the compilation is completed successfully now when you press ok another window opens which is a downloader always select the product MIBRX-4M this is the PLC which is installed with this complete setup if they if it is at any other selection you just need to select the MIBRX-4M every time the other setting should be remain same the board rate should be 19200 stop bit should be 2 parity should be none data bit should be 8 and com port whatever the com port is installed at the usb to serial converter which is connected to the laptop or pc here we have to select the hardware version to 20.0.3 as we I, we have selected all the settings this setting should be same every time when we download the program so now we can press download and in few minutes or a few seconds the program will be downloaded in the plc Here you can see downloading starts and when we are downloading the program the LED light is also blinking in the converter device or we can say USB to serial converter. When the download completes, you will find a window saying download of bin file is successful. Press OK. Now program has been downloaded. Now we have to go for simulation. For simulation, just press simulation icon or simulation menu. And here press the green one icon for going online in this program. Here as I press online, you can see some of the highlights in green and red showing that the program is now online now i will you basic brief description of this ladder logic over here you can see the first block is for length and speed calculation of the motors as we enter the length of desired uh, value for first length which is provided uh, 40 mm for the last object that we have drawn and the second length is provided in case of rectangle in many of the case we have only uh, single input value for this so we generally consider this first value or the first length the other calculations are programmed in the later manner this is for motor 1 which is for y x axis and the other one is for motor 2 which is for y axis the selection window provided over here also for all the values that we have selected is also programmed in this ladder this is for x axis line this is for y axis line 
whatever we select both of the motor is required to run so and it each and every time any of them will be automatically selected as per program then we have selection of inclined line for this the address is given 2 for triangle address is given 3 and for rectangle address is given 4 similarly for square address is 5 for pentagon address is 6 and for hexagon address is 7 and for manual control address is 8 now these are the other programming which is completely given for direction and movement of all the outputs provided with this now for running the motors and drawing the object with this ladder logic we have to do the selection over here right now you can see at the first row the selection is zero so zero is for x axis now if we have to draw any of the object from this program let us say we have to draw an inclined line so we have to enter two this is the address for inclined line in the ladder program i again ask you to do this alteration or this uh, programming methods with the expertise if you alter any of the wrong value the program may not work do as i explaining in this video so we have selected the value 2 over here for the selection so we have selected inclined line in this and now for entering the length we just go to the length and speed calculation section here we have to enter just one length for this uh, inclined line so we have to and we will enter let us say 50 over here and press ok now for running this program we have to just find on the left side the line or the inclined line so here line is provided you just need to open the ladder diagram so this is the ladder diagram over here x line y line and inclined line there are all three options provided x line for horizontal y line for vertical and inclined line for inclined mode so when you double click on this start button as you double click on this start button values are already entered in the program the hardware will start working accordingly so now when i press start or double click on the start you can see the procedure for drawing the inclined line is started on the hardware after the entered value completed the hardware will automatically stop now similarly you can see the start button is now run mode when the process is completed uh, when other process we are going to start we have to go the other process again now for later program just click over the tab now for changing the selection you just need to change here you can see the inclined line output relay is now on because we have selected and made the selection as inclined line for selecting some other value you can go to the other selection as well like we are going to draw a rectangle right now for this 4 is the address that we have to enter in the selection so here if i enter 4 press ok the selection will be rectangle here you can see rectangle is go green now for entering the sides or the length value we just need to enter the length and speed calculation over here first length is 40 let us say and second length is 20 for this rectangle we have entered both the length now in the left pen or the navigation pen here we have to find the rectangle ladder here you can see this is the rectangle program here we can open the ladder program for this and here when i press start the object will start drawing the rectangle so when we press start bit the object will start drawing a rectangle 
on the surface. So our rectangle is going to drawn. All the four sides of this rect rectangle has been drawn and when the process is completed, the hardware will stop automatically. Now as I explained in this video, you just need to enter all the values as per the ladder diagram and for more information and more communication you can contact to Tesca Technologies Private Limited as and uh, please do not alter the program otherwise the equipment may not work properly now before closing this first of all you need to stop the simulation like this and close the program one by one this is the first rectangle program that you have closed then the main ladder program and this is the inclined line program that we have now closed and now we can close proper the window so that's how you have to close the program so that was the complete demonstration of xy position control system using plc here I have explained you all the ladder logic programming and with the HMI how we can use the XY control system using and drawing some objects on the surface in 2D plan. Hope you have enjoyed this video and you get to know and learn something about the XY controlling of this server position control method. And for more information and more details you can visit our website which is www.tescaglobal.com and for this video and some more videos like of this type of trainers you can visit our channel Tesca Tech on YouTube. And for more details you can refer to user manual and you can contact to Tesca Technologies Private Limited for any type of queries. Thank you.